हे एवरी वैन दिस इज द्रुवीन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पावर वर्चुअल एजेंट एंड क्यू एन ए मेकर इंटीग्रेशन स्टेप बाई स्टेप सीरीज यू आर वॉचिंग फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ दिस सीरीज एंड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन बिल्ड पावर ऑटोमेट फ्लो टू गेट आंसर्स फ्रॉम क्यू एन ए मेकर नॉलेज बेस टू पावर वर्चुअल एजेंट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड In our earlier session, we have discussed about the system fallback topic in detail. System fallback topic is something which will be triggered when we search any question in the chatbot and we didn't find any trigger phase or any topic related to it, and this will call our fallback topic. Now, from our fallback topic, we want to customize few things. Basically, from our fallback topic, we are going to call our power automate flow. that will connect my qna maker knowledge base that we have built in the first part of this series and we will be getting response from knowledge base and we will be display that answer to this power virtual agent chatbot so this is the overall goal now in this particular session we will be only focusing about power automate flow to connect the qna maker knowledge base and in the next session we will be calling our power automate flow from our power virtual agent chatbot so now let's get started with the flow development part now first of all let's go to our power automate flow now just recall our first part of the session in the first part of the session when we published our knowledge base i told you that you need to basically copy this thing for the future reference that we are going to use in the fourth part of the session so hope you already copied that thing from the first part of the session and now if you don't know how how to go with this step let me show you that step so you will be getting a better idea so basically you just need to go to the my knowledge base section in my knowledge base in the first part we have trained our faqs with qna maker service so basically this is our knowledge base where we have question and answer pair and we have published our qna maker so let me publish that again so i'm publishing that and once you publish that you will be able to see this particular section now just copy this entire thing so i already copy this thing to my one dot now what i want to do here is i am i want to make http call in order to call my qna maker knowledge base now let's go to the power automate now first of all we need to build the solution so let's create one solution for our qna maker and power virtual agent just click on new solution just give the name of the solution as pva with qna maker select the publisher i am selecting default cds publisher and now just click on create once you click on create it will create the solution like this now let's create a flow within the solution click on new click on flow that will create one blank flow for us now this should be called from our power virtual agents so let's select that when power virtual agents calls a flow let's select that particular action let's give the name of our flow power virtual agent with qna maker integration now let's add the input as text that is the user input now in the next step what we are going to do is we will be calling our qna maker knowledge base so in order to do that we will be use http trigger action so i am just using this http trigger action now we have copied this thing from here so basically this is the post method to get the answer so basically we just need to use post over here now in the uri what we need to pass here is first of all you need to copy your host that you have find first of all you need to copy your host so i am just copying my host here now in in the post this is the knowledge base and this is the id of that knowledge base 
and this is the API call generate answer. So we need to copy this entire thing and we need to paste here. So my API URI endpoint will be looking like this HTTPS then the name of the cognitive service dot azure website dot net slash QNA maker slash knowledge basis then the ID of knowledge base and then generate answer. So this is one thing. Now second thing is that we need to provide some headers. So in headers the first header is authorization. So let's just copy the name here authorization header. In authorization we need to provide this endpoint key. So let's copy that and let's provide that here. Then the second header that we need to provide here is content type. So let's just copy this content type and the content type is application JSON. So let's paste that right now in the body you need to pass your question. So let's copy this thing and just paste it over here. Now the question is the input that we have taken in the first step. So let's remove that and let's add the question user input. That's all. So this is our API call that has been done successfully here. Right now let me just save this thing. Right now few important thing I want to mention here like let's say at this moment when we copy and paste it we are having this type of post host authorization and content time section here. Now sometimes this will be looking somewhat different. Let me show you. This is one another knowledge base that I have prepared. So you will be getting this type of URL basically when you are using free subscription. So do not need to worry about that. Basically you need to follow the same step. What you need to do here is in host you need to first copy this entire line then you need to append this line with the host like this and this will be your URI right. So basically you need to copy this and simply you need to paste that over here. Second thing that you need to consider here is header. Here the header key is different. So basically instead of authorization you need to type here OCP API MP subscription key. So that will become your header. So you just need to copy this and you just need to add it over here like this. And then whatever the key is there you need to paste it over there. So this is one change that you need to do if you are completely using free subscription. So at this moment I am not using 100% free subscription because for knowledge base I am using some chargeable subscription. So I am getting this type of URL and I am getting authorization like this. So make sure about this thing. This is one important tip that you need to consider. Right now let's say uh, I, I completed with HTTP action. Now whatever the answer that I am getting here I just need to parse that answer. So uh, let me just initialize one variable first. So let me just initialize variable as Q and answer. Now its type is string then what I need to do here is I need to use apply to each. Now here whatever the answer that I am getting from this particular HTTP action I need to have a loop on that. So I am just using an expression. So I am just using this expression body and inside that answers and then I will just use set variable. So here whatever the outcome of apply to each I need the answer of that one. So current items answer I need. So basically current item that is items apply to each. So basically I need to use the same expression and from apply to each I need answer. So I will use this expression. Press question mark. So this is the answer. And now I just want to send that response back to the power virtual agents. Return values to power virtual agents and 
the output is q and a answer and the name of the variable q and a answer now let's just save this thing and now it's time to test this thing so let's test this and just click on i will perform trigger action now just add the user input that how many leaves can i take just click on run flow so at this moment it is throwing me an error just because i am not calling directly from the power virtual agents so let me do one thing let me just remove this trigger from here at this moment and instead of that let me just take one button and let me just take variable as input one and let me just pass that input variable over here so let me just use the input variable and now let me just taste this thing so let me just use a question how many leaves can i take i'm running a flow and the flow ran successfully so basically it called our http action how many leaves can i take and in response i get this one answer so basically uh, in the body you can see that first i'm getting answers and inside that i have the actual answer over here so first of all what we need to do is we just need to loop this entire thing so this is initialize variable apply to each one loop is there in set variable first of all it will find uh, apply to each loop is on answers and then from that particular answers we are getting answer and we are just returning that thing to our power virtual agent so this is how we can integrate our QA maker knowledge base with power virtual agents using power automate so isn't that amazing now let me just remove this thing from here and let me just add the trigger from power virtual agents and we will set that to my next session so let me just add that let me just add input variable and now in here i just need to use that input variable that's all let's save this flow and this is the entire flow that we have created in one of the solution so make sure about that thing now one important thing i am going to providing the export of this particular code to my github repository so just download that from my github account and you can directly import that and use that for your project now let's recap this flow so the first action is when power virtual agent calls a flow one input variable is there now in the second action we have prepared uri you know that how we you, we have you know that how we have prepared this uri then in headers authorization and content type in body you need to pass question then we have initialized one variable then we are applying one loop on the answers so we just used a formula like uh, body of http and then answers and inside that we are just getting answer variable so this is the formula for the same and uh, once we are getting the response we are passing that to our power virtual agent chatbot so we used an action return values to power virtual agent so this is how you can create your power automate flow in order to connect your power virtual agents chatbot with q and maker knowledge base isn't that amazing if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section or if you have any suggestions or feedback you can add your suggestions or feedback in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading new video related power bi power apps power automate power virtual agent teams and sharepoint every day on my youtube channel also don't forget to follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. If you wish to listen different power platform related podcast from my podcast channel, just click on this particular link. This will be redirecting you to my podcast homepage. Here you can listen your favorite power platform related podcast on different podcast platform like Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify and much more. So stay tuned with that. 
Also, if you wish to receive daily notification about all my new updates from my WhatsApp channel, just click on this particular link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos exclusively on your WhatsApp number. This is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.